This video is about capturing Hi8 tapes as well as VHS tapes. You can tell I'm using iMovie. I am going to disconnect the Canopus ADVC 110 so that you can tell that the ADVC 110 is being used for this video. I am now using Final Cut Pro. You want to make sure the output of your Hi8 camera or your VCR is plugged into the input of the Canopus ADVC 110, which is on the front side. On the back side is the outputs for the Canopus ADVC 110. 20 years ago, you could have taken the FireWire output from the Canopus ADVC 110 and connected it to the FireWire port on your computer. However, in the year 2025, you're going to need a lot of different adapters. I will explain that with more detail later in the video. Since the Canopus ADVC 110 can be used for input as well as output, you might have to tap on that silver button from time to time. Here we see Final Cut Pro. You click on the arrow, you see the Canopus ADVC 110. You select Import. We're not going to need to capture any more in about 10 seconds for the purpose of this video. You can place the capture window wherever you want to. You can also resize it. You hit stop import to stop the capture. You've probably seen the video show up on this side panel. I'm going to click on it and you can tell it's what I just captured. If I hit play, it's playing just fine. It's that easy. With iMovie, you click on the arrow just like Final Cut Pro. You see the ADVC 110 listed. You select import to capture the video. You don't need to worry about what the image looks like with this little capture utility. But to make it stop recording, you just hit stop import. You've probably seen it pop up in that little bin. Most computers nowadays do not have a FireWire port, but a lot of them do have a Thunderbolt 3 port. Here are some cables and adapters that you might need to purchase. I'm going to zoom in so you get a little bit better look at them. Most of you will probably have to get a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. You'll also have to get a Thunderbolt 2 to FireWire 800 adapter. If you look in the green box, in orange I have FireWire 800 to FireWire 400 adapter. Then you'd also have to get the FireWire 400 cable. If you want, you can get a FireWire 800 to FireWire 400 cable. The Canopus ADVC 110 can be powered by a six pin FireWire cable. However, if you're using adapters, it may not work correctly. The Canopus ADVC 110 worked once with my Mac Mini without the need for the power adapter. Then after that, it always needed it. Sometimes my Windows PC needs the power adapter. Sometimes it doesn't. I think you're better off purchasing the AC power adapter. I will provide links to the adapters and cables in the description box. I want to mention that the Canopus ADVC 110 is basically a generic FireWire DV converter. Any FireWire DV converter should work. If you have a FireWire DV camcorder, those can work a lot like the FireWire DV converters for transferring Hi8 tapes as well as VHS tapes to the Mac or PC. Before I end this video, I want to let people know that the FireWire DV converters are no longer made. You have to buy them used. As you can tell, they're super easy to use, and in my opinion, they're still your best option in the year 2025. If you look at some of those cheap USB video capture cards, they can be problematic. The audio and video can get out of sync. Sometimes the image quality is horrible. A lot of times the audio and video files will not play correctly in software programs like iMovie, Final Cut Pro, and Premiere Pro. The FireWire DV converters convert the analog tapes into the DV25 codec. Most editing software can recognize the DV25 codec.